不死を長らこの田島秀忠ご存知でござりましょうか増上寺のご霊廟にくせ者が潜入いたしました。This is my first dispatch bag, but it won't be my last, I'm telling you. This is their day pack right here. Now they make this bag in all kinds of different materials. They can have it in a nylon bag. They got a twill version. The one I got today is the Dyneema. And a lot of firsts going on right here because this is my first Dyneema backpack. And that's kind of like the selling point with this bag, the Dyneema, if guys aren't familiar, Dyneema is a material that's super lightweight but super strong. I've even read somewhere that it's actually tougher than Kevlar in the way you produce it. So we're not here to talk about Kevlar. We're here to talk about backpacks. So we're gonna talk about this one. I'm gonna give you some of the specs, give you what I think are some of the cooler sections. We'll walk there first and then I'm gonna walk all the way around the bag and then I'll give you my final thoughts and then we'll get the hell up out of here. That's what how that's gonna go. This pack right here is 22 liters. So I always get the question, George, I don't want a 30 liter pack. I want something I can just fit my essentials in for my everyday carry and no more, no less. This is a good size. That's the great size of 22 liters. I can get all of my EDC stuff in this and I don't feel like I'm missing anything. So the actual dimensions, you know, if you wanna break out your tape measure on this thing, it's 18 inches tall, it's 10 inches wide and it can expand out to a depth of eight inches. Now, with that, what those dimensions do is give you actually like a more of a slender bag, it's taller, um, bag but it's actually a little I guess not as wide so you know you get that narrower look on your back so that's one thing to think about now this Dyneema on the outside of the bag that's probably one of the biggest features with this bag right here it does have a little you know it does make a little sounds it's not too too bad but just wanna make you guys aware that it does have a little sound to it when you move this fabric around. But Dyneema Composite Fabric is the full, full name of it. So I said I was gonna take you to the cool, some of the cooler sections of this bag. I think where we'll start, we already kinda of talked about the Dyneema. Now let's get into the internal structure, the framework of this bag. It's right here in the front. And this is their admin section. So I replaced it actually, there's a number 10 zipper pull right here in the front. And I think these are all track zippers. Or they may be AquaGuard. The old Trek zippers usually don't have the shine on them. So it's a number 10 zipper, YKK. But anyway, the zipper pull right here, I've replaced and put in the tack pulls. So tack pull actually actually sent me out some, some zipper pulls or you know, some pulls. I know a lot of guys usually do this with paracord, but tack pull put together, this is a Cordura pull right here it's pretty simple it's laser cut and basically you just run it through the zipper pull and and, and kind of pull it through the other side but this cuts down on cutting paracord or you're trying to replace these are like two bucks a piece i think it does something to the bag but anyway so number 10 ykk zips all of the zippers on this bag are water sealed. So this get, leads you into the admin sections, like a vertical admin section. You can see you got a key, little key loop up here at the top. I got, got a lot of stuff in here actually. I got my re recycled firefighter trucky in there. I got my little moleskin notebook, but then you have some organization in there, some ver like some horizontal organ organization. So you got places where you could put some pins, you got places where you could put a cord. I even was able, it's like a bungee system up here. And I was even able to stick in uh, the anchor candy bar battery. So you have some larger bungees in there. Now you do have a zipper pocket. It's gonna be really hard for you guys to see. It's over here in the corner. The way that they actually mounted it in there, 
you know, you gotta kinda get your hand in there to get anything out of there. It is a little zipper pocket, like I have the little Leatherman squirt in there. But, nice little zipper pocket with some mesh. But, what I like about this pocket is that it takes even like larger items. I could eat, you could slip a jacket in this pocket along with all your other organizational items. So I could stick all that stuff back in there. So really convenient right here in the front of the bag. That's kind of what I'm, I'm looking for. And I think that that's really something that makes it really easy to use this pack right here. So let's move around and talk about all the rest of this stuff that's on this pack right here. Like I said, Dyneema, but on the bottom, you have your compression straps. You got compression straps on the side of this pack, but you also have them on the bottom. So you can use these as compression straps, or if you, you know, if you're actually carrying something larger, like maybe a jacket. I don't know about a bedroll. This is not my like a camping style backpack, but anything else, you could slip it in those compression straps and kind of make this bag smaller. It's interesting that they put the compression straps down at the bottom of the bag. Not a bad way to go. I'm not mad at it at all. You do have the compression straps on the side and these ones actually have buckles to allow you to get the full access to the main compartment, but we'll get there. You do have like a little D-ring hook. So if you wanted to hook your keys on the outside of your bag, you could. So nice little D-ring hook. It's not metal, it's plastic. And the compression strap is a compression strap. Nice, you know, nylon webbing on the side. Nice nylon webbing throughout this pack, really to be totally honest. So that's kind of the front. Let's go ahead and go into the main section. I guess that's that's the next move, right? So you undo the compression straps to get full access, like I said before. And then you have number 10 YKK zips up here. And like I said, I'm not sure if they're AquaGuard or Ultrax, but they're number 10s. That's, that's what it is. So you unzip in here and it's a half opening. No full clamshell in this pack. So let's talk about the lid first. Up here you have a nice mesh pocket. Now this mesh is kind of fine, but it's tough. Throughout the bag, and that's something I probably should talk about as far as this bag, the quality of the construction is excellent throughout this bag. I mean, the, the use of experiments with Dyneema material is secondary to me as the quality of the bag. The bag itself is just solidly built. So in here, <laughs> you got this little zipper pocket. I'm, tr I'm experimenting with brass. So I got the <laughs> Benchmade Bug Out with Flitanium Brass Scales. I really, really been enjoying this right here. This is, this is the best bug out I've had thus far and I probably had about three of them so yeah the brass putting the, the brass scales on the bug out is great and then I got this pineapple this is the ray light pineapple light this is a triple a flashlight right here I'm just testing this out just got it so I want to throw it in a bag and test it out you know you can only test it if you use it then at, on the on the lid that's really where the organization ends in the main section I do have my Sony XM3s and I do have my event medical kit and you can see the space that you have down here so you got you have space I mean for a lunch for a change of clothes definitely you can get away with this inside of the main section there's actually two mesh internal water bottle pockets and I know this is like a love it or hate it thing some people hate it some people love it but my 24 ounce camelback shoe fit in there with no problem this is this right here is a, a nice little sleeves for documents or folders and then you have a tablet suspended tablet sleeve right here so i put in of course my 11 inch well 10.5 <laughs> them ain't 20s 10.5 inch tablet right there so yeah and it's got a nice little bucket inside um buckle inside of this pack is a 410 nylon pack cloth and it's dwr coated so keeping that you know weather resistant so the out the exterior shell is going to kind of hold that water out so i appreciate that any extra steps when it comes to water resistance on backpacks i appreciate let's talk about the laptop compartment we have the same old tracks or aquaguard ykk zips number 10 so just one zipper glad they put you know a water resistant type of zipper in there now i tried my 17 inch laptop in here 
it was like, nah, bro, it's not going in there. So I had to reduce myself down to my 15 inch Dell XPS and that fit in there with no problem. Actually, dispatch says a 16 inch laptop. So you 17 inch laptop guys won't have to keep looking. This might not be the bag for you guys. So the laptop sleeve itself is padded, it's suspended, it's not, you know, it's it's decent, but I like the suspension in this bag. It's a good like half an inch off the bottom. So it wasn't like it was, you know, they say it's suspended and it's not really suspended. It wasn't like that situation. It was really suspended off the bottom. So I appreciate that. Since we're right here on the back, let's go ahead and flip this bag around and talk about the grab handle and the shoulder straps. Now, the grab handle, the way that they did it, it's, it's like a box stitch right here. I, I found it to be really comfortable. It's got a nice little pad on it. This is like the regular nylon webbing that, that they use throughout the bag, but they came back with a nice padded little um, handle right here. So buttons, you could take it off, but I don't see why you'd want to, but this is pretty decent. There are load lifters on this pack and you guys know how load lifters work. You pull them, they pull the load higher and closer to your back. Now I'm getting to the thing that I really enjoyed on this pack and I was surprised because when I pulled it out and I was like, nah, I don't know about that back panel. <laughs> the, the back panel is good. It's really good. The shoulder straps themselves. So this is a 22 liter pack, smaller pack, but the shoulder st straps are wide. They, they're contoured slightly, but the, the width of the shoulder straps that width distributes the weight on your shoulders and it's just like, okay, this feels pretty good. It's not heavily padded though. You know, it's not heavily padded, it's kind of thin, but just that width does enough to make this pack really, really comfortable. It's not like you can be able to pack out a 22 liter pack anyway. So I really enjoyed that. You do move down, you do have a removable sternum strap on a 22 liter pack, you already know. I'm gonna take it off. And then nice little nylon down here far as the webbing. And you do have like that quick disconnect down here. I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, pack companies are adding that. I, I guess it's like, there's not really too much money between giving you this quick disconnect and just a regular hardware for, for it. So why not throw it in, you know? So I'm not mad at it. I probably will never have to quick ditch my bag, but never say never, right? So let's flip around and talk about this back panel now. You will notice that this back panel doesn't have any air channels, but the mesh on the back side of the, sh the shoulder straps itself and the back panel is excellent. It's got a really wide um, hole in it and it's rugged. So really breathable. I had a couple of warm days in this bag and I, I mean, I didn't notice any kind of heat, like significant heat buildup. So for a bag that doesn't have any, you know, dedicated air channels, really good, really, really good. I, I enjoyed it. You do have this like luggage pass through that is removable. It's on some U, some U connections here, but I just left it on cause it didn't bother me. But for your travelers, you do have a luggage pass through. So that's pretty slick. So I really like this pack. I, I like the simplicity of it. There's not a lot going on. The, the, the selling feature is this, this front organizational panel. Is it gonna work for you? You know, is it gonna work for you? And the Dyneema, do you want it in Dyneema? And that kind of takes you to the price of this pack. So if you want the Dyneema version, you're gonna be looking at like the 360s. You know, they have a white Dyneema, they have a R&D Dyneema. If you want the Dyneema version, you're on that end. But if you like the style of this pack and you don't care about Dyneema, then you can go get a regular nylon version for like 190. So I like the fact that if you wanna be extra with your Dyneema, you can go over there in the 300s, but if you just like a solid everyday carry pack and you just want it in like nylon, 198 I think is a good buy for this because I really feel like the, the shoulder straps and the back panel have sold me on this bag. So if you ask me, George, should you buy it for 360? I'm going to tell you got to make that on your own decision on that. But if you ask me, George, should I buy it for 198 or, or for whatever the, the, the nylon version is? I'm like, yeah, if you can, if you like the simplicity of this pack, the shoulder straps are awesome. Really, really great for a small pack like this. So that's it guys that's the wrap <laughs> guys if you like this video hit the thumbs up button if you loved it subscribe to the channel because it's totally damn free 
And if you got a question, you know what you do. You leave it down there in the comments. I'll get back to you <laughs> with the answer or I'll try. You know, like I'm not the smartest guy in the world. I'll try to give you an answer. And I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Peace.